Oh, well, all my major editing is all on my phone. I use iMovie on my phone. Everything, all editing is on my phone. Um, and then, yeah, like, I just go in on right my now. laptop and, you know, add in the tags and stuff like that. But for the most part, 98% of my editing is on the phone. Yeah, so I don't know. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. What's up, y'all? Lockout men in the building. Well, not necessarily in the building, but you guys know where I'm at. I'm in the truck. And this special edition of Make the Call tonight, man. Look, let me let me let me tell you a little bit about uh about this young lady very quick. So this young lady, her 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 channel just happened to pop up in my feed. And I'm over here like, huh, who's this young lady? All of a sudden she starts talking about prime. Now, remember I told you guys back in the day that it looks like Prime just has the YouTube handbook for all new drivers that come up in there, man. I I don't know, but maybe I'll, I'll ask her. I'll ask her, see if they really do have a handbook. But uh, check it out. Her, her channel right here. Uh, I got her channel up right here. And this is the video that popped up right here. Actually, she was in Columbus. Yeah, she was in Columbus, Ohio. That's from my. Now you guys know I'm from Ohio, so you know I have to. I gotta represent. But uh, this particular video right here hey, popped up. Been trucking, I'm back with another video. I just got out the shower, as you guys seen. Um, as you guys see today, I'm actually wearing my prom hat. I have not worn this thing. I did get a free hat when I trifected, but I never worn it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a swing today. Today I decided I'm gonna do a. Welcome to the show, Miss Queen Trucking. How you doing, ma'am? <laughs> How you doing? Hey, thank you for having me on the show. I am doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah. I want to start off. I, I, I got to ask the question. Do, okay. <laughs> do Prime have a YouTube handbook for new drivers? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't think Prime has a new uh, handbook or whatever, but I don't know. Like, I grew up, or well, I grew up, <laughs> I started my trekking journey watching, like, you know, the Nick and Carla's and mm -hmm. the Tiny House Dreaming. Mm -hmm. So when I, you know, me being a female in the trekking industry now, you know, I looked up to them and like, wow, you know, this is some great information that they're giving out. And I was always like, I think I could do this. I was like, you know, I got a good little personality or whatever. So I was like, you know what, well, let me, you know, give it a swing. And I don't know, like, it just hit. Like, I don't know. Like, people just started noticing. I don't know. Like, I have absolutely no idea. I think it's just the name prom or something. Like, I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> I now, don't know. now, the video that popped up, it says uh, the name of the video is uh, Prime Inc. What they don't tell you about TNT slash TNT yes. phase. So far, you got uh, you you got some views on here. You got about seven thousand going on eight thousand views. You know, so Man. it looks like a lot of people is interested. You know, well, a lot of people is interested in Prime anyway. The the Prime video that I did back in the day was um was the make the call video to Prime. And uh, and I, I generated a few views off of that too. But since that call interview, they yeah. uh, they 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 changed the process. They changed the process. Man, so, man. Uh, so tell uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, how did you how did you figure you wanted to get into the business? Where are you from? Where are you at? Where you okay. want to go? <laughs> well. Well, first of all, my name isn't Queen, it's Nadeja, but you know, I consider myself, a, you know, a, a well-rounded woman. So, you know, I don't call myself Queen. So that's why I was mm. like on my YouTube channel, when I say I'm Queen Trucking, I don't mean I'm literally the Queen of Trucking. I am 
a queen that's trucking, you know what I'm saying? But I am from Dallas, Texas. So mm-hmm. shout out to Texas out shout there. Shout out to Texas. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, that's, yes. That, that's that's my second home. <laughs> Texas is my second oh, okay. home. I, 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 that, that's, that's where all my, that's, that's where the majority of my subscribers and my views come from. So definitely shout out okay. to Texas. Yes. Okay. So yes, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, and I ended up getting into trucking because I really love traveling. Like, I don't know if y'all want to go check me out on my Instagram, mm-hmm. but if you do go look at my Instagram. Oh, channel, shout, uh, shout out uh, to your Instagram. What is it? Oh, <laughs> oh, my Instagram is underscore pink underscore couture underscore. It's a lot of underscores. Oh my God. God. But yeah, it, you yes, should just, I know. You should just like break three. that down and make it simple. <laughs> <laughs> make it simple. Oh my God. Like seriously, but. Um, you can go in there and look, and you can see that I've done a lot of traveling over the past couple of years. Hold on, and, I'm about to, I'm you know, about to I can't... go there now. Hold oh. on, right quick. Uh, hold on, right quick. You, hold on, search. Okay, it, it's it's what now? What what now? What is it? Okay, it's underscore. Oh, first, oh, it's first underscore. Okay, so it's an underscore P I N C K. Okay. Uh huh. And then underscore it, Couture, C O U T U R E. Uh, I'm, oh my God, I'm, am I I'm, right? I'm sorry. Run that by me again. Wait, wait, wait. I think I see it. It says Black Girls Travel. Yes. Hold on, me. right quick. Hold <laughs> on. Let's let's see what you was about right here. Yeah, here you go. Okay. Oh, Black Girl Travel. Okay. Black Girl <laughs> Travel. Okay. 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 Oh, you on the beach right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on, right quick. We got um. We, yeah. we got. Oh, that's a video right there. Okay, beach life. Okay, where were you? Yeah, where flight. Where were you uh, in this in this first picture? Were you uh, on the beach? Where were you? Uh, the first picture I was actually in uh, Florida. I went to Panama City Beach in Florida. Okay. So I absolutely love Florida. I I grew up such a love for Florida. Um, but yeah, so I was in okay. Florida. I, you know, I've been down to the Keys and stuff like that. So you know, just some flight, little flight traveling, some flight, okay. nothing too major. <laughs> All right, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You uh, yeah, you are uh, doing it up. What's what's this right here? I'm looking at. Let's see, South Southernmost Point. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Cuba. Yeah. I so was like you, 90 miles away from Cuba. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go, Miami Beach. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you got a picture. Of, it looked like you got a picture of your of your shower going on right there. Okay, so uh, oh, cause I stayed in this bomb hotel in Miami. Like, oh, it was so fun. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. So, what else about what else about yourself? Um, but yeah, so I did a lot of like I said, I did a lot of like just flight traveling, and I did it on the, like a lot of my nine to five jobs. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, you know what? I decided to you know take that leap of faith. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to put in my grind time. I'm going to take this leap of faith and put in my two-week notice for this job and apply to prom because I felt like if I love traveling, like I know I love it, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna just go ahead and put my all into it. So I said, I put in that two weeks and I said, you know what? I, I just took that leap of faith. And it was like so hard for me because I know a lot of people out here, it could be hard for them to take that leap of faith to leave their job to go trucking. Mm-hmm. But I did it, and I haven't looked back since. Like I done been from east to coast, to the west to the east, okay. to the north to the okay. south. Like okay. I done, I've been out here traveling. So it pretty much came from me just, you know, finding my love for travel and saying, you know what, I'm going to go trucking. And then I also had a little help from, you know, with my little my little ex boyfriend or whatever. He helped me, okay. you know, decide I want to go trucking. So that was that was really good. Too. All so right. that's kind of what that is but that's how i got into it so did you did you do your did you do your research before you got into the industry oh. or was um uh, was or was prime your first your first go ahead um actually no because you know like i said i'm from texas texas is a trucking state so yes. i had the cr england you know i got into the pam transportations and you know i was really looking i really looked it up like i'm telling you like before i quit i really did my research like very i good, just very good. did it and then i re- i remember saying that prom was the only one that actually paid you in your orientation you know what i'm saying and okay. that was something big for me because you know girl got bills so i was <laughs> like i can't just quit my job and go just jump into some trucking and and i need i gotta have some money some type of income even though you know it's only 200 dollars that you get as an advance from prom but it was still something 
you know, and a lot of trucking companies wasn't offering that. And then, you know, even though the TNT pay is a little iffy, you know, but I know the total outcome of working with Prom and, you know, mm-hmm. I'm thinking about going lease. So, you know, this is, but I'm not going to make that final decision until after I get out of my TNT. But I do know that there is money in Prom and I know Prom pays the most for, you know, incoming students. Right. Um, and then I want to do on the road as well. So it was just, you know, I looked up Prom Prom, you know, it fit the bill for me. So I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm going to take that leap of faith. And then, like I said, you know, a lot of my motivation came from watching Nick and Carla. Like, I'm not even, like, Nick and Carla, like, there was, they were yeah, talking Nick, like, Nick, Nick and Carla, Carla yeah, they, dreaming. yeah, na- Nick and yeah. Carla was, uh, was, was my, well, not even was. They still, they still one of my favorites, uh, YouTube, uh, youtubers and i'm and not i personally don't subscribe to a lot of youtubers but nick and carla i mean nick she's she's sweet with the with the editing so yeah definitely shout out definitely shout out to uh nick and carla uh tiny house dreaming uh she she came into uh she came into uh my uh chat and she was one of the ones before she got with prime she was one of the ones that asked me to give a to give a call but i haven't heard no more from her in my uh in my uh comment session hmm. yeah. no, no, let me yeah. let me stop but uh but <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um but yeah, yeah. so but, in the know. in the video in 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 the video right here man you uh hold on right quick let me let me go back to it so in this video you saying uh you you gave some you spit some real some real shit in there i mean you know you spit a lot of information that a lot of these new jacks out here that's coming into this game you spit a lot of information that they didn't really know and like i said before they uh they they changed their policy on their on uh on uh how they came in so with that said did you come in with your Yo, uh, CDL already, or you went through Prime to get your CDLs? See, when I first initially signed up for Prime, which was back in August, mm-hmm. I came in with nothing. I didn't have my CDL. I came in like, you know, the normal. I came in, I was going to, you know, go through my week of orientation. While I was in orientation, I was going to get my CDL permit, which I actually ended up acquiring from Prime. Mm-hmm. But like I say two a week into my PSD, um, which was I believe this was uh, August the twenty ninth, because I came in on August the eighteenth. So I believe August the twenty ninth, um, they ch- Missouri changed the law and Prime was not ready for it and over like a hundred and fifty people got sent home wow. by Prom because they had yes, I was I made a video about this as well on my channel. It's what's, called, you know, what's, the, home. what's the name of the video? Because I'm back on your channel. Um, Okay, it's called Tom Sent Me Home, uh, w- the new law in Missouri that will affect incoming students. Okay, so Prime Sent Me Home. So that's okay. That's the second. That's the second to the last new video that you put out. So I'm looking at that now. Let's uh, let's yeah. uh, check that video out right quick. Hold on. Uh, gotta wait for it. Uh, here we go. Guys, know this information because this is very important to everybody who's following me, and I really want everybody to know that this is what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. You're welcome. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, here we go. Every time I move the cursor. Supposedly my uh, permit came in, the mail, so I need to go to my DMV and uh, pick that mug up. So I'm excited. Don't know what to do. Um, just super duper excited. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so happy. That I get to go home. You see, I've been rotating these same clothes all week, so I definitely get to pick up some new clothes. If you do come to orientation, just FYI, please bring at least two weeks worth of clothes because I only brought one week of worth of clothes and I literally been rotating my clothes out. So now this gives me the opportunity. All right, so yeah, so what was the uh, so what's the uh, what's the new law in Missouri that that you guys gotta what, what you guys gotta do? You gotta get your uh permit from your home state or what um so you know the normal the old process with prom was you go to prom you know you uh use the prom address Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, at the Tampa scene, you would use the address to go get your CDL permit in, in the state of Missouri. Right. That's what the state of Missouri was allowing in the beginning. Now, the new law that Missouri passed is if you're not actually a, res a resident or you don't have proof that you've been living in Missouri for the past 60 days, you don't have like that residential address, you're not getting mailed there. Right. They decided to say, hey, well, you need to go back home to your oh. home state and get your CDL permit. Oh. So while I was in the, yes. So while I was in the middle of my PSB training, I got sent home to get my CDL permit in Texas. And everybody knows the Texas CDL permit test is a whole nother test. Oh, so, so, you, so, so so what you're saying is is that you can so now with Prime, you're you're not able to take the permit test in the in in the state no more. You actually gotta take yes. the permit test and bring it with you. Yep. You Ooh. have to bring it with you. Like now Prime isn't even sending like at first they were sending you bus tickets to bring you out there. Now you gotta take your home you gotta take a drug test at home before you go to Prime and you have to get your C D L permit before you come to Prime. Then they'll send you a bus ticket to come out there. Okay, it's now, like yeah, they switched it up. Now you saying bus ticket, man? I'm I'm not catching no bus, man. I'm not doing I'm not doing no <laughs> Greyhound. But listen, listen here, y'all. I'm a veteran out now. Maybe for you, New Jacks, I you know if it works, it works. But listen, I'm not taking no bus nowhere. We we plane trains and automobiles over here. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> So now, if I could go back, I would definitely take a plane or or, or drive my own car. I promise I would. If I could go back, I would because that Greyhound was a fool. So they so so they gave you a bus ticket home, and then did they give you they they gave you your way back as well, right? Um. Well, I got lucky. My uh PSD trainer, because like I said, we were on the pad testing, uh, you know, practicing for the actual CDL test at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, when we got that call, my my trainer immediately went to go get a rental car, put me and him and another trainer teamed up. They put me in the uh, car and we drove all the way from Missouri to Dallas and they brought me what? out. Of the so I, yeah. So I luckily didn't have to ride a Greyhound to the back home, but I know a couple of people who had to take those Greyhounds back home to go get those permits. So I was one of the lucky ones. So I really was. And when was, you, when you, um, when you came, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, you did. <laughs> no, so when you when you when you came back, the people that were sent home, did they come back? Look, some people didn't make it. Like the, uh, the since I since I was a female, I actually had to share my trainer at prom with right. another student. The other student that I was training with, he was from Mississippi, and he went home. And he tried to retake that test, and he passed, and he didn't come back. Like, wow. a good percentage of the people that prompted him home, a lot of them just didn't come back. Like, you know, we got out there, you know, we sacrificed a lot to come to prom, and right. when prom sent us all home, you know, a lot of people just, just didn't have it to come back. You know, I, I just was very determined to come back, so I did what I had to do to come back. But a lot of people didn't come back. Like, a lot of people did not come back. Out of 150 people that prom sent home, or around 150 people, I say about only a good like maybe 90 to 80 people came back. Like wow, definitely. So how uh, many? A lot of people said no. How many? How many people was in? How how many people was in your class versus how many people that actually uh, passed and working for prime now? Oh, okay. Um, well, you know. When I was at prime, it was all about the survival of the fittest, you know, in the beginning. So a lot of people who were in my orientation class didn't even make it out of orientation. <laughs> you know, wow. like they just they didn't even make it. A lot of people came to prom and you know, and they didn't study for the permit test. And it's you know, like I said back when that was still a thing before they sent me home. Right. But a lot of people didn't even make it. Like I, I had about thirty people. And, you know, between prom sending people home for, like, drug tests and mm -hmm. sending people home for backgrounds and work history, mm -hmm. I say, let's see, we had about 30 people. I said about only about 14 of us made it out. So over half my plans got sent home. Wow. Like, it didn't, and, you know, and, and from that 14 people that was left, I, I think only about nine or eight people came back from when prom sent us all home to get our CDLs. So... Yeah, it was crazy. Tom was definitely at in scrambling to get shit. I mean, so I don't know if I could say scrambling to get stuff together. So <laughs> it in definitely your, was in your video, you you mentioned uh, you mentioned the fact that uh, what 
of course the video that what they don't tell what what you need what you need to know what they don't tell you um you sort you sort of broke it down man i mean you broke uh the, you you broke the phases down like i was kind of tripping on the on the part where you was talking about when your trainer went home or something like that oh yeah can, can you elaborate oh. on that what what actually happened um, yeah, so basically, when my trainer was about to, like I said, I, I'm about my money. I need to get paid. Right, right. right. So my trainer was, gonna, yeah, my trainer, he was getting ready to take home time, and he was going to be gone for like a whole week. Um, And I know he was going to go on like a week and a half, like a week and three days. And I was just like, you know, wow, like, you know, you know, in TNT, you're barely getting money anyway, you know. So I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I kind of had my money planned out to where, you know, I had bills, things that I needed to right. do. So I was like, you know, well, if you go take home time, you know, can you just drop me off at campus in and I'm basically going to still be at prime. So I feel like I should still be able to, you know, get paid, you know, my TNT pay because I'm available for this set, but you're the one that's taking home time. But you, um, but so you mentioned, up, you mentioned that you're not actually getting paid by prime though. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I was just about to get to. So I ended up calling um, my dispatch. Well, okay, wait. So you're talking, okay, I thought you were talking about when I called my dispatch and he told me that either I was going to have to get another trainer if I wanted to get paid. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so I ended up calling, yeah, I ended up calling my dispatch and he ended up telling me that either I was going to have to get another trainer uh, in order to get paid or I was just going to have to go unpaid with the trainer that I got when I went home. Okay. You know, unless my trainer decided under his discretion that he wants to, you know, give me some money on the side for going home just because he was the one that wanted to go home and not me. Right. So, you know, I I ended up, you know, deciding to make that decision to go ahead and go home because me and my trainer worked something out where he was actually going to pay me money to be at the house because I need my money. Right. But um, for sure. pretty much with, yeah, pretty much with that, it was just. He showed me um, his check stuff. Because like I said, my trainer is a lease trainer. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if this is the same information for as company trainers or lease trainers, but I have a lease trainer with Prime. And when you have a lease trainer for Prime, their, your uh, $700 guarantee comes out of their paycheck. Um, it's not paid to you by Prime as like your PSB. When mm -hmm. you're in Prime student driver phase, you know, they they just load the money to your car automatically, like right. whether you're under a load or not, because it's guaranteed, right? Right. So, but when you're with uh, in TNT, your trainer is the one that's actually paying you that money. And whatever miles that you don't run with your trainer, uh, like I said, is, you know, when I was breaking down my TNT case, that probably will reimburse you the rest of that. But the money is ultimately coming out of your trainer's truck under the load that you're running with your trainer. So it's not even Prime paying you. Like I thought Prime paid you like, like I said, like PSB, how it just automatically got, you know, right to your card, no matter what. But it's not like that. It's actually coming out of your trainer's check. And my trainer actually showed me his check to where it was like, oh, okay, my name is actually in his payroll under one of his deductions because he's a lease driver. Now, now let me, as far as... Let me, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you a quick question on that part. Being that it's coming out of his paycheck... So let me let me see if I'm visualizing this. His okay. his his pay yo the money that so basically what they doing is just paying him all of the money and then out of out of that they they they'll deduct it from him and then deposit it into your into your check. Yes, basically. So Aww. he's getting a totality. Yeah, so he's getting them all like so basically, when you're in TNT, you run as a team, and I'm doing quotations as team because you're not really a team right. because you're running team miles, but your trainer is getting all of the team pay, right? Like all of that team pay. So like, let's say he has a three thousand dollar load, he's getting all of that three thousand dollar load, and, and you only getting seven hundred of it. Exactly, and I'm only getting seven hundred of that. So that would be a deduction under his, uh, you know, under his many many papers of from, you know. Um, what is that? Your check, your check stub. I would be a deduction under his check stub because out of that three thousand dollars that he got for the load that me and him both ran, mm -hmm. I'm only taking home seven hundred of that. So they would deduct that from his uh, pay, and then the rest of his deduction, and then that's what he would take home, and then I will only take home that seven hundred that was guaranteed to me. 
uh, by Prom, pretty much. But it's not from Prom, it's from him because, you know, my trainer, me and him ran the load. And he's least. so, yeah. So basically, yeah, no, Prom wasn't paying me personally. My trainer was under the load that me and him was running. So wow. it's not like, it's not guaranteed. That's why I was, I mean, it's guaranteed only because if you, let's say I only get paid 14 cents a mile. Like I was saying in my video, if I run like 200 miles, I'm only getting paid like 40, 20, 40 something dollars. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So out of that 40 something dollars, that's when Prime will step in and be like, okay, well, you didn't hit your 700 guarantee. So then Prime will be like, hey, we're going to give you the rest of the money that you can make on the road. You know what I'm saying? Right. But other than that, it's all, at the end of the day, it's all coming out of my TNT trainer's check at the end of the day. So whether he runs or not, you know, uh, that's where the guarantee comes in. It's like whether you and your trainer don't run the mouth to get you the money that you need, we'll step in and be like, okay, well, this is the money that you need. Here you go to get you that 700 guarantee. All that's right. pretty much what that guarantee pay is. It's not like, like it's not like TSD when you automatically get two hundred dollars no matter what. You actually, you know, this is where you go out with your trainer. Your trainer pays you basically, and then whatever you don't make from working with your trainer, then promise step in and pay you. Okay, much. okay. So now, right now, what? Uh, now break break down these phases, man, because uh, PSD, TNT, M <laughs> MCM. <laughs> And all that good stuff. What's 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 these phases and what what's the what what's the acronyms mean? Okay, uh, PSD is Prom Student Driver. Right. So you know that's pretty much after you get your uh, permit, you know you come to prom, you go through your week of orientation, and that's when you start your Prom Student Driver phase. And okay. that's pretty much when you your trainer has the option to take you out on the road. And you'll be uh, with your trainer, and you, you'll get your practice driving, and you know, back and getting that real world experience. Right. Except your trainer is up with you all the way. Like you and your trainer sleep at the same time. You and your trainer wake up at the same time. Y'all both, uh, when you drive, he's watching you. When he drives, you're watching him. It's and that's like, the way it's supposed you know, to be. A feel for it. That's yeah, that's the way that's it's supposed what, to be. Yeah, that's what um, TSD is. Prime student driver. Now TNT is trainer and trainee. So basically, that's what I'm in right now. You know, I already have my CDL. So when I drive, my trainer is asleep. You know, when he drives, I'm asleep. You know, and then we okay. pretty much rotate like a team. So okay. that's when you go into more of the team driving with Prime and TNT. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, as far as uh, as far as team, now with the team driving, that's the guarantee seven seven hundred dollars, right? Yes, that's the guarantee seven hundred and uh. Uh, trainer and trainee TNT PSD is where you get the two hundred dollar advance uh, until you get your actual CDL. Now you know what time. that sucks right there because they <laughs> they're gonna give you an advance and you gotta pay that back. Oh, definitely, what? definitely you pay it back. Yeah, you pay it back in twenty five dollar increments. Uh, on the video, I broke that down as well. Yeah, so what? that's why I tell everybody in all of my videos, like if you spend that money, it's, you're gonna have to pay it back. So you might want to spend it wisely, or don't spend it at all. If you can't spend it at all, don't spend it at all. Yeah. But that's all they get. That, that's all they advance you is to it. Well, what? The, how much? What? What do they give you for the orientation? Nothing. Um, when you go. No, 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 no. When you go to orientation, well, you, you don't get money because orientation is only a week. So right. during that week, you're getting free meals from prom. They feed you and stuff like that. So you're getting free meals and uh, things along that nature. But by that Thursday or that Friday, you're going to end up getting your $200. So really only four days you're at prom. You don't really have a paycheck. But by that Thursday and Friday, you get your first $200 advance. But okay, but this this the whole time. this is I, I'm assuming this is for the guys that's coming in getting their getting their CDLs, not not the experienced guys that's coming in, right? Yeah, this is for people who are getting their oh, CDLs. Okay, now. okay, okay, yeah, okay, this, I, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I, because yeah. I'm if you, if you come in, I'm oh, sorry. Like I said, my face is is making the screw face. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> now, if I come in as an experienced driver. And I'm going to get paid for my orientation nine times out of ten. I should, but this is, but this is for you guys that's that's coming in, getting y'all CDLs, going through the orientation, and then getting on with Prime. With with people who already have their CDL, 
no, they're doing the 60,000 miles. They're not doing 50, especially right. if you come in without your uh, permit. You know, if you don't get your permit from Prime, I mean, your CDL from Prime, you have to do an extra 10,000 miles on top of the 60,000 that we're already doing. So pretty much you'll come in and already, you know, you'll probably do a day or two of paperwork. But after that, you're going straight into TNT. So, you know, you don't even have to go through the whole process of, you know, the $200, which is really good, though, because at the end of the day, you don't have to pay all of that money back because it's just an advance. You know what I'm saying? So you will ultimately your first check will be your $700 check from TNT if you do come in as, you know, an experienced driver. So all that's right. the upside to that. You don't have to owe prime anything. You you start off with a clean slate, you know. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see what else she got to say in this video, right quick. Hold on, right quick. Considering where I'm at, I'm actually in uh, Ohio right now. I am in Columbus, Ohio right now. In my yeah, you in my home state. He actually went to go yeah. see his family because his family. Yeah, I was in Ohio. Ohio. Usually they try to put you with somebody who's like near you. I was like at the TA in London, there Ohio. Wasn't a lot of guys but I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Me, he accepted I don't me, so I was know where I was at. Right but one of my subscribers knew where I was at. He was okay. like, "You're in London, Ohio." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> about TNT He's and like I am going to show you guys something. I'm All definitely right. going to be showing you guys my actual TNT paycheck. I'm now it says, uh, now you say number one about uh, about what they don't tell you is that TNT is going to be at least, what, three, four, three, three, four, half, three, four and a half months. Why so, yeah. why so long? Well, with, well, well, first of all, it went from 30,000 miles to 50,000. They threw on an extra 20,000 miles that you have to stay on your truck. Now, PSD, I mean, TNT was already about two and a half, maybe even three months long, depending on how you and your trainer take home time. But now they threw on an extra 20,000 miles, and then it's around the holidays for me. So like right. I said, right now, I'm actually at home right now on home time because my trainer wants to take home time to be with his family for Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm so going to be off this truck for at least a week. So wow. is that, you know, you add that up with Christmas. It's just yeah. yeah that that's lightweight. That oh, that, that sounds like it lightweight lightweight hurting you. Uh, by the sounds of it, being off the truck for that long. Yeah, because I mean, at this point, I'm pretty much going to be in the TNT at least in the, the middle of January. Hopefully, I'll be off by February so I can upgrade. And get my own truck by my leave by my birthday, you know. But at this point, you know, my TNT is definitely running into the this is going to be three and a half to four month, four and a half month long journey, especially since my trainer just took some more home time. Like he took home time in October, right. now he's taking home time in November, right. then he's gonna take home time in December. December. So and at this point, what about January? <laughs> he's not doing uh, New Year's Day. Um, no, in December when we take home time, that's the longest home time I'm going to take because he's going to take the whole week of Christmas off all the way into New Year's. Into year, the New Year's. And I'm not going to be, yeah, and I'm not going to be back on his truck until January. So now, at this point, it's just dragging. Now it's this very dragging. How yeah. how is it with now? How would how is it with your trainer? Because in your video, you uh, you regard your uh, your trainer to be a good guy. So is is this? You 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 guys not having no issues or nothing like that because you know some trainers like the in your video like you said they they want to you know if you can't give up the nookie you can't be with me he he's, he's not that type of dude. Well, see, look, look, look. I ain't trying to put on. Look, I ain't trying to get you out by look. Loses and stuff because I haven't even put this content out. Okay, uh, okay. like I don't know if you peep, but I'm I'm about a three or four weeks i'm about two weeks behind on youtube so okay yeah so um yeah me and my trainer the trainer that i was riding with initially i'm no longer on his truck no longer on his truck i ended up getting a new trainer what and what happened if you, you, you want to you you want to elaborate on what happened you don't have to no i don't elaborate um pretty much um he was a a white male you know and i am a, a black female right, right and it i don't know if he felt like he got super comfortable with me but he ended up expressing to me how he felt about the black community as a whole okay and, it's a miracle wing feel and, yeah. something dark. <laughs> and um one thing led to another and i felt like 
I had to get off his truck because yeah. I, as a black female, couldn't, you know, it's just, I don't know how to, you know, this is a little, you know, but it's, that's just what it was. Like, I was on his truck. He decided since we were cool enough, he wanted to take, express his woes with the black community with me as far as, you know, what he felt about Black Lives Matter and how he felt about black people and reparations and what he thought about everything that we had going on and how comfortable he was with the black community. And it led to a big um, me defending my community because right, I am a black right. woman. You have, and, you have you know, to. You have to. He, he, <laughs> you probably might, he probably might have been one of those one of those guys like, oh, well, you know, I, I have black friends too, but... Yeah, but, <laughs> One of, yeah, yeah, but, but you know, yeah. so he, you know, he really went down the deep end. Like I don't know, like I said, I don't know if he felt like he was comfortable enough with me, and he felt like I wasn't going to say something because I was a black female. Um, I put, I really believe, like if I was a black male, he wouldn't have came to me with the things that he yeah, said because yeah, it would have exactly, been stories. Exactly, but you probably would have kept it to female, himself. Yeah, definitely would have kept it to itself. But, um, you know, we got into a heated argument, and I just felt like I can't be on a truck with somebody who feels that way about who I am as a person. I so gotcha. I just decided, you know, I got to get off his truck. Like, I'm black. I'm always going to be black. I'm never going to be anything else. So, you know, I don't, you know, I can't, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Like, I, like, I couldn't. It didn't know. I just know. I could not. You know what I'm saying? I'm I not going to sit here and let somebody down me as a person and down who I am and down who my people are, you right. know, just because you feel a, a type of way being a white male. So, with that being said, I had to get up off his truck. I wasn't feeling that. And that's, I ended up, no, I have a, I absolutely have a whole new trainer now. Um, and Prime, I did go to Prime about it. Me and Prime had a long, long conversation. And um, I now have a black male as a trainer. Now, so what about that's how that conversation went? What What about female trainers? There, do do Prime have any female trainers? Um. Well, in PSD, I had a really hard time getting a female trainer. So by the time TNT rolled around, uh, which is how why I ended up getting the guy that I got my first trainer. I, right. I just took whoever they gave me, and they ended up giving me a male. So I just wasn't really just I was went on like, okay, here went um, with it. Yeah, because at, at this point, you know, with Prom sending me home, I was already in my PSD, then Prom sending me home, then I had to come back. You know, at that point, I was just like, I'm ready to get this rolling so I can get it over with. Um, so I didn't care who Prom gave me. I really took whoever they gave me, and then that's why I ended up getting what I got. So this time around, I really took my time finding somebody, and they kept sending me male trainers. Um, Prom has female trainers, but they they don't have abundance of female trainers. Right. So you know you really get the male trainers, and with me being a female, a lot of male trainers turn me down, and then you know because some of them just don't do women. You know, a lot of them right. are married, and I right. understand all of that. But so I ended up getting who I got. So okay, you know, I ain't complaining. So the uh, <laughs> so the new trainer that you got now, he's uh he's he's pretty cool with you now, y'all y'all good oh, together. Oh no, man, him we good in the hood, you know. We we here with the things that we got okay. going on, so we you know everything real good. Uh, I did say I'm not gonna go through. I'm not gonna get another trainer. I am not gonna get another trainer. So me and him gonna run it out all the way to the end because I'm ready to wrap it up. I'm ready to get my own truck. Like this is what I came to prime for. I didn't come to prime to play. You know, switch a room with trainers. I wanted to get it over with. But you know, I can't be disrespected as a woman. So especially not as a black woman. So I just decided to move on with my endeavors to another trainer and now me and him are cool so right. you know like i said me and prime had a long talk and we understood what was going on and prime made that executive decision and i got off his truck and yeah so. all right uh, i guess i guess my one question would how, how long from start to where you at now how how long was the process from from start to where you at now well, like I said, we, me, I different. I typically had a different start. You know, I came in with the normal process, and then prom switched everything up, and then now it's like, okay, this, that. So my process has been, you know, from August all the way to now, it's in November. It's already been like four months. 
Four um, months? Yeah. I, yeah, I just hit my four-month mark. Okay. Um, you know, and only because of what I went through took my PSD extra long. Like, I was in PSD for like a, like two, a month and a half, you know, and PSD is typically only like two or three weeks. So, okay. you know, my PSD got extended extra long. So, I, it's been about four months. Um, the only thing that I can say about prom that I would want people to know coming to prom is just that, you know, just be on your toes when it comes to prom because when I came into prom, you know, I was expecting prom to be this one way and then all of a sudden the rules change and the rules are constantly changing at prom. Yeah, They're I see. I see. I got, so, like I said, yeah. I got to do an update. I got to do an update video. Um, a couple of people over here asking me to recall Prime because the information that yeah. I got before is definitely different because, you know, they, they, they you know, forwarded me to uh, that Junior Her Hernandez? Honduras. Yeah, Junior Hernandez. Yeah. Honduras. Uh -huh. Oh, Junior they, Honduras. 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 They, <laughs> yeah, they, they forwarded me to his video and he was telling about the new new criteria at yep. prime and then everybody mm -hmm. you know everybody that's you know had videos they started making videos about that i was like yeah i think i gotta i gotta i gotta mm -hmm. update so, um so if so if i can offer my advice uh, so if i can say one thing to everybody who wants to come to prime number one prime drug test before you even get a bus ticket to come to prime so if you're gonna come to prime make sure you have your stuff together mentally and physically when it comes to you know what you do in your spare time at home. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to smoking weed and things like that, make sure you have yourself together. Do not come to prom thinking that, oh, I'm going to uh, use my little cousin P to get into prom. Because when you get to prom, you will be re -drug tested because I got re -drug tested in my PSD phase. Oh, okay. um, make sure, yeah, so don't, if you go come to prom, don't cheat your home drug test and thinking it's, it's going to be something. Because when you get to prom, you will get sent home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And make sure when you come to prom, make sure you have your keys and, you know, make sure you have everything together before you leave the house because anything that you got going on at home will end up make you know, end up making you come back to the house. Exactly. You know, and make sure if this is something you want to do, you know, just go out there and do it and take that leap of faith and don't be scared to, you know, make that leap of faith to come to prom because, you know, I made that leap of faith and I can say now this is like one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. So, you know, just go ahead and, and take that, especially somebody like me coming from the hood in Dallas. So, okay. you know. Okay. So uh, I'm about to uh, I'm about to play this. I'm about to play this part of your video. The 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 dream, <laughs> the dream sequence. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right here. Get up and pick whatever you want. Yeah, well, this this everybody out there right here. This this is so funny. Dream, and I'm pretty sure it went something like this. <laughs> Oh this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at God, I gotta pee. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Girl, you better wake up. Oh girl, God. you better get up. You better not eat. Get up. Get up right now. You are not in the bathroom. This is a dream, girl. This is an illusion. It is you all like, fake. You better not pee, girl. You looking like, who right is now. this talking? Get up. Girl, you yeah. better get up right now. Get up. Yeah, I'm I'm liking yeah, I was, I'm I'm liking your skills, man. You uh you got some you got you got some skills right quick. Now your your editing, I'm I'm assuming you you doing all this off your phone or you you have a little yes. laptop with you. <laughs> um, I do some uh well all my major editing is all on my phone. I use iMovie on my phone, everything, all editing is on my phone. Um and then yeah, like I just go in on my right laptop now. and you know, add in the tags and stuff like that. But for the most part 98 percent of my editing is on the phone yeah so i don't know but the tea dream i just i thought it was funny like because i know it is experience. funny yeah like i was asleep and just minding my business and then all of a sudden i had a dream i was sitting on the toilet for these bathroom and then i literally almost released and i had to wake up because i mentally was like oh my god you're not on the toilet you need to get up you need to get up and then i woke up and i was like oh my god i almost had I was like, I'm gonna myself. I was like, this don't make no sense. And I was just like, ever since that day, I officially put myself on the drinking schedule because I cannot live that life on my trainer's truck. <laughs> 
Yeah. So I don't know. I just I was like, am I the only one that go through this? I was like, I don't know. Let's ask. Now Let's I was assuming. Now as as far as guy goes, you know, we 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 could just whip it out, hit the bottle right quick, <laughs> tighten that cap back on, and pop it out. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as a woman, you know, now you guys you guys have to like you know y'all have to go and hit the toilet. But I talked to this one Man. female driver. Uh, she was in training about a about a year about a couple of years ago. She started at uh at US Express, and she had a female trainer. But she, this female trainer was like it was like balls to the wall. She had a she had a German Shepherd on board. It was like uh, man, I had to use the bathroom or I had to use the restroom, and she was and the she her trainer said, Nah, you see that bucket right there. She oh, looked, wow. yeah, she looked behind. She was like, yeah, yeah, you better get used to that. I was, I was rolling. I was like, wow. Oh, but, God. but you know, drivers, you know, drivers is like that. They got the makeshift toilet. They got the makeshift bucket. Yeah, see, look. Yeah. I said, when I get on my own little truck, you know, I said, I'm for sure going to get a little porta potty for those nights where I had those dreams so I can just get up you know, do my thing, and then before right. I do anything, I'm going, you know, empty it, clean it, and keep it moving, you know, especially me being a woman on the road, I feel like that's something that we definitely need, you know, especially me going on the road by myself, you know, I can't be hopping out the truck at 2, 3 in the morning all the time because I got to right. go pee, so, you know, I got to do what I got to do, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely feel that life, but, you know, I'm on my train the truck, I can't be back there trying to pee in a little cup and they gonna be you know like what's going on you try know to, try to get try to get a peek yeah. try to get a peekaboo back there <laughs> uh, you okay know, you to... you all right back there <laughs> yeah, you you okay yeah. can i can i watch so like, I can't. <laughs> you know look that's what i'm saying i can't that's why i was like in my video you know some people you know they you know, you know, I don't know if it's just like unspoken tale and crime that you know some of the trainers be fucking around with their students or messing right. around with their students, but you know, I ain't about that life. So yeah, you're about your that money. That ain't gonna happen over here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That ain't gonna happen over here, not in these streets. You know what I'm saying. But you know, like I said, no shame to anybody who out there feel like they got to do what they got to do because you be on this road for about three, four months. You be on a truck with somebody, they start looking good, and you like, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, look. <laughs> they do tend to, they too, do tend to looking good. Like, look. yeah, I need to get yeah, that. Yeah, after a while, you know, you start looking look good, and you just like, look, let's just make it happen. But, you know, I'm not, I can't, nah, I can't, but, nah. you know, we done all heard some stories on the low low about, you know, stuff like that at prom, but, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't going to say nothing. You know. nah, it's, it's just best, <laughs> it's you know, crazy. just it's best. It's listen, here's my advice. It's, it's best to be about your business. You know exactly. what I'm saying? When when you you yeah. you out there, you focus, you're learning. That's what it's all about. You 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 learning, you focus, you you're about the business. Now, once you get what you want, then we could talk about that afterwards if there is yeah. an afterwards but right now exactly. i'm on your truck to be trained that's it that's all if you can't do that then pass me to somebody else that can Woo. exactly well listen uh miss queen trucking I, I i really enjoyed the conversation man thank you for um yeah. for coming on to Appreciate the show man i really do appreciate it so yeah, thank you for having me on here. You're very it's welcome. It's crazy because I, I I watched your channel and I you know I actually watched the old prom video that you did. So this is just like super crazy and I'm like so happy. Thank you for having me on here. You're very <laughs> welcome. You're very welcome. You you definitely welcome on my channel. So if you ever want to come back or if, you know you want to come back after you uh, get finished with your training and all like that and you know want to get your uh experience out there with me definitely give me a call keep the number oh yeah definitely we gotta do a video call the next one. <laughs> oh, no doubt no doubt but this sounds like you said iMovie so you got an iPhone yeah I'm iPhone uh, and, team iPhone and, team iPhone and <laughs> Android team Android but if we we'll, we'll get it together there's there's uh there's messenger and and Google do and yeah, all that good stuff. Google, yeah. But definitely, uh, mm -hmm. definitely, we'll, we'll definitely make that happen. Well, guys, listen, 
Miss Queen Trucking. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation between me and her. I really do appreciate Miss Queen Trucking coming on to the show. You guys could definitely go check out her web uh, website. God damn it, man. You can go ahead and check out her YouTube channel, which is Queen Trucking. Uh, right now, she got 747 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to her. Her editing is on point. Her editing is on point. Her storytelling is on point. And, you know, right now, like I said, she 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 got the book of prime. <laughs> she she got the book of prime so definitely go check her out and her instagram eos I, I'm, I'm i'm just gonna say it i'm gonna say her instagram is simple but it's underscore pink underscore contour underscore right yes black yes. black girl travels so definitely uh definitely check her out all right, Miss Queen, thank you for joining me, man. I really do appreciate it. And uh and that's it. 